guys welcome back to my channel i am clearly in the fall mood <laughs> looking at this pumpkin and my sweater um so it's, where i'm at today is like the very first day where it actually feels like fall it's like a little bit cooler so i'm really happy about that and i just wanted to come on and show you a flip through of my fall slash spooky setup i do have them combined just because we're already in October and starting next month, I'll probably be wanting to do like a, Christ a Christmas setup. So instead of trying to do two different setups in one month, I just put them together. And I don't have a lot, a lot of deco in here. Um, so it's just, I don't think I'd even have enough for one full fall setup by itself and then one full spooky setup by itself. But Anyway, um, this is Anaya Papery Velvet Sand. I did get it pre-loved from the BST on Facebook. Um, oh, did I say Velvet Sand? I mean, I mean Velvet Cotton. Um, I know people have been, been comparing it to Velvet Sand from BDS. They're totally different in my opinion. I've had a Velvet Sand, I don't have it anymore, but the colors are different. The only kind of similar thing is just like the the fact that they're both like velvet so it leaves those marks when you rub it but they even feel different in my opinion so anyway this uh i did cut out the pen loop on this planner though once i got it because um i'm not exactly sure why but her pen loops are really big and it was just kind of getting in my way so i cut it out and you'll probably see that on the side and let's just get into it so this is the front um this card is from sequins and paper this one right here and this planner belongs to card is from queen city designs co it does have my info on it um they're customizable which is really cool and then this is from calixta creations i'm not sure if i said that right but um She's also Lolly Plans on Instagram. And then this charm, or not charm, moon pin is from Wild Moon Co. Wild Moon Paper Co. Sorry. This front dash is from Tool and Twine Co. This is a freebie from Mel's Minimal Plans. I just printed it on normal paper and then I used double sided tape to tape it to the back. This, I love this vellum so much. This vellum is from Queen City Designs Co. It's one of her newer releases, and I think it layers over this dashboard so nicely. Um, so this dashboard is actually a freebie from Elise Plans. I believe her freebie, it's like in PNG form, um, but I believe it's A5. So what I, what I did was I just downloaded it and then copy and pasted it into Canva where I was able to make it A6 size. And then this is also a freebie from Dove Note Co. And this is also a freebie from My Minimal Planner. I got this idea to layer these two specific things together from Sammy Plans on Instagram. I saw her her do it in her planner and it, it just goes so well in my opinion, it's so pretty. So I printed this on vellum. And then this is also from Elise Plans, it's a freebie. And I did the same thing, I just uploaded it into Canva and kind of resized it that way. This is also a freebie uh, from My Minimal Planner. I don't know if you can see, but like, there's kind of some lines in the eyes and that's not how it's supposed to come out, but my printer just kind of has a hard time with the color black sometimes if it's saturated like that. And this is actually, it's so it's technically a freebie, um, but she doesn't offer, as a, offer it as a freebie, but I had asked her where she got it from and she said she made it herself and so she sent it to me. That was very kind of her. Um, it's Sammy's Planner on Instagram and I just, it's so pretty, I love it. And um, this I actually made myself on Canva and this is from Queen City Designs Co. It's also one of her newer releases. So is this card. It's so cute. And there is a back. I'll show you the back once I flip it. But this two pocket dash is from Catspresso Co. 
and this is the back of that card so it's good witch on the front or back and then on the other side it's bad witch and then this card is also from queen city designs co and this vellum is also from queen city designs co and so is this vellum so basically all of this is queen city Des designs co oh and um I used to have a code with her, but I'm no longer PRing for her. It's a new term, so there are new people PRing. So if you want a discount, um, definitely go check out Queen City Designs Co. page, her Instagram page, because she has who's PRing for her this term posted, and you can get their codes from there. And then these uh, dividers, these side dividers, they're from Shop Gracie Edits. And they are the laminated glossy white ones, I think. They're, they're laminated, um, but they're just the plain white ones. And this is a freebie from Hey Planner Girl. This is a freebie that I printed on acetate. It's from Maria Plans. This was a freebie from Systematic Maddie. I don't think she offers it anymore. I'm not entirely sure. I had it in A5, so I just resized it. And this is from the Neutral Planner and Vic Plans collab. This is also a freebie from Systematic Maddie. I again don't know if she offers this anymore, um, but I, I printed the first page on vellum and then the second page on normal paper and I got this idea from Aloe. And then this, um, I found the, the words on Pinterest in a post and then I just made it on Canva and these are from Vienna Ortiz Plans. Um, this one and this one and this one and this one. And then this top tab inbox is from Queen City Designs Co. I love it because it's so thin, so like it doesn't add like any chunk to your planner. And then I just have some sticky notes. This layout sticky note is from the uh, Planning with Allo and Paper Test Designs collab and then this sticky note is just from cloth and paper and this actual sticky note itself is from cloth and paper too i think cloth and paper cloth and paper my get it done insert which i use as my inbox is from paper test designs this is from puff and pages co it's a freebie i use it as a to buy list add to planner list is from peanuts planner co so I changed up my div my divider sections a little bit. So basically, now I have write it down, plan, heal, and personal. So what I used to have was boss, plan, heal, magic, which magic held all of my lists and references and just extra note paper. I basically moved all of that to the front with my inbox. And so I labeled it write it down. So right now we're gonna go into my lists and I got this idea from Paper Test Designs. It seemed like, good, like a good idea to me, um, just because I feel like, I don't know, I, don't, I have a hard time explaining this, but I feel like I would use it a little bit more, just like as messy notes, if it was maybe in the front. I don't know if that makes sense. It, it makes sense to me. So I switched it. And basically what was in my boss section in the front is now in my personal section at the back. And now I feel like I totally use all four sections of my planner. Before I felt like my magic section got a little like neglected maybe. Um, but now I, I use all four sections and I'm, and I'm just doing it that way. So this is from Salty22, it's a freebie. This entertainment bundle, so like I said, this is going into my list. This entertainment bundle is from Paper Test Designs. So I have the, I think I have the whole bundle in here. I don't think I left out any pages except for maybe a notes page at the very end. I'm not sure exactly. This Travel the US checklist is from All the Plans. This is a insert from Your Paper and Line Co. and I'm using it as a skincare to try as of right now. This list insert is from Peanuts Planner Co. I'm pretty sure it's a freebie. This planner inventory is also from Your Paper and Line Co. It was one of my collabs with her when I was on her PR team. This is a wishlist tracker from Your Paper and Line Co. 
same thing which let's track it from your paper and line co also same thing they're just split up into um, different wish lists now this is from peanuts planner co your paper and line co i think this insert is just so cute with the little gifts this discount codes insert is from my minimal planner this is also from your paper and line co this is also another one of my collabs i had with her it's favorite shop so i have i have it for icon stickers like more minimal um script stickers other stickers like dots, drops, squares, arrows, stuff like that, and then dividers. And then I also have another one for principal inserts and freebie principles, which I need to add more um, for this one because I know there's a lot of people who offer freebies. This is from Peanuts Planner Co. again, Peanuts Planner Co. My Minimal Planner, it's like a pen test insert, Peanuts Planner Co. This starts my like brain dump. This is from Paper Test Designs. I really like this note paper that she has in her shop. Um, just have some packing lists. Again, this is just my brain dump section. I have my new split up of my dividers that I was going through. Um, this is my top tab that I have basically where, where I'm at in my brain dump. So if I need to just quickly jot down notes, I can just flip to where I'm at in my brain dump. So this is from Cloth and Paper. These are from Cloth and Paper. Lucy Plans Life, Lucy Plans Life. These are all from Cloth and Paper. More note paper from Paper Test Designs. I basically just keep some extras in here for notes, you know, just anything. Like I said, this is a brain dump. So, and then it goes into my routines. So this is again from Vienna Ortiz Plans, both sides. This is from EO Edits. I don't have it totally filled out yet. I just kind of started to do it. This is from Paper Test Designs, and as you can see, I don't have this one filled out yet either. More routine stuff. This is from All the Plans, and I am planning on using this as like a reference schedule for my ideal week, which would be when I'm, I guess, most productive. And then on the back, I also want to do one where it's like maybe a little more realistic, um, but I haven't filled that out yet. <laughs> this is from Tool and Twine Co. Um, I don't have anything here, so I just, I'm gonna flip like that. Um, this is from Neutral Minimal Co. It's a freebie. This is from Planning with Ala, or Ala's Creative Corner is her laminate page. This uh, dashboard, this jelly dash, is from Caspresso Co. This routine card is from Queen City Designs Co. The little icons are from Pretty Planner Crafts, and then the writing is just from my label maker and page logs are from cloth and paper this vellum is so pretty it's from paper and alley and i do have a discount code with her shop it is cassie 20 i'll put it somewhere on the screen and also put it down below this is also a freebie from neutral minimal co this i made on canva my word of the year is capable this was a um, I don't remember if this was a freebie or in her shop, but it's from Hey Planner Girl. This is from Simple and Trendy Co. I'm using it for birthdays. This is from Hey Planner Girl. And I have this clipped together with this divider, this bottom tab. I think these tabs are called like cutie dividers or something like that. They're from Queen City Designs Co. And you can choose, it only comes with three, so... I have three in here, like three little ones, and they all go to a specific page that I'd like to get to quickly. Um, and then you can, she offers different icons so you can choose the icons you want. So this, this one is for my future dates, um, that's a little calendar. And then this charm is so cute. It's from Lucy Plans Life, it's a little cat and a moon. And then, so yeah, so it turns to my future dates. These are my future dates. These are from your paper, or not your paper and line co. These are from Peanuts Planner Co. This is from Simple and Trendy Co. More future date type stuff. This is for future dates for next year. And then this is also from Salty22. This goes into my monthlies. These monthlies are from, are freebies from Sammy's Planner. I really like them. So these are just my past months. I do have six month, 
six months worth in here and then this is a freebie from sterling ink it's very pretty it's just in front of my october monthly which is this month and my top tabs say this month this week and today and these are also from shop gracie edits and they're just her clear laminate ones i believe so this is for november and then this is for december and then we go into my weekly planning this again is from salty 22. i'm using these weeklies um from simple and trendy code they are they're technically dated so they're they're not dated because I had to add these stickers, but they do have the calendar. So they're for the year 2021. So this is what I've been using. This is this week. And then this, so this is where the tab is. And this tracker thing is from, I know it's in planning with all those bio, they're freebies, but I don't think she's the one who created them. Like I don't really remember who created them, but the, you can find them in her bio. This is another like little, sticky note printable thing from um, the paper test designs and planning with Olo collab. So this is for, I have all the way up until the end of December in here. So these are Novembers and then these are December. So I have for the rest of the year. These are freebies from a nerd plans on Instagram. And I've just been using them for one day, one day, one day for dailies. I really like them. I haven't been doing dailies um, so much recently, but I, I was really enjoying them. So here's my today marker. And this is what I use as a key. And this one's to buy. This is also from that collab with planning with Aloe and Paper Test Designs. And then I just have some blank ones in here. This is from Tool and Twine Co. Again, there's nothing here, so I'm just gonna flip like that. This is from Dee's Plans, one of her circle cards. This is from the Crescent Planner, Spellum. This is a freebie from EO Edits. I did print it in black and white. I think this normally is like brown, but I, I printed it black and white. This is from my Minimal Planner. This is a freebie in um, my bio, if you're interested. This, I saw this quote on Facebook like a long time ago and I really liked it. So I just made it into a dashboard on Canva. Sticky note, uh, this one is also from that planning uh, with Aloe and Paper Test Designs collab. And this is Paper Test Designs tracker. This is for October. This is my, I use this insert for gratitude and triggers. So my triggers are right here, I did cover them up. But this insert is from uh, Simple and Trendy Co. This one is for my period tracker, and this one is from paper or not paper test designs uh, from Peanuts Planner Co. There's a lot of P's. Uh, this is a custom headache log from Simple and Trendy Co. This is from Your Paper and Line Co. Peanuts Planner Co. I just have some other miscellaneous help stuff. This is from Puffin Pages Co. It was a freebie. This is just normal grid paper. These are from uh, Paper Test Designs. These therapy notes inserts are from Your Paper and Line Co. It was also another one of my collabs. Tool and Twine Co. This dash, it's um, it has like that white floral. I think you can see it, yeah. The white floral design, it's from Cat's Presso Co. And this card is from Sequins in Paper, I think. And then this card is from the Vic Plans and the Neutral Planner collab. This one is a freebie, I think from Neutral Minimal Co. And then this is the back of that card. This is also a freebie. It's from EO Edits, printed on vellum. This is again from Salty22. This is from All the Plans. I don't think she has A6, so I bought it in A5 size and I just printed it at 70%, which makes A6. Um, at least it seems to. Uh, these I added these stickers myself. They're from Sweet Caress. This financial bundle is from Paper Test Designs. 
I did start filling it out, but then I didn't finish. So I don't have all of it filled out. This is subscription subscriptions, and I don't think I included her whole financial bundle in here. She has so much um, spending, expenses, and this is my second little tab. It has credit cards. This is for some kind of cards. Uh, this is for to flip to my online orders. <laughs> So my online orders, this is from Paper Test Design, or I keep doing that. This is from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, I just stuck on some like thank you cards that I've gotten and some happy mail. So this is from my most recent planning, or not planning with Alo, it's her, but um, Alo's Creative Corner laminate order. And then this is one I've got a while ago. It's from With Leslie Co. This, I saw this in Sammy Plans, her planner, and um, she said I think she found it on Pinterest, and then I found it, so I was like, oh, okay, I really like this, so I'm going to stick this in my planner too, but there's like multiple pages to this, so I just ended up printing all of them, um, so it has like finding purpose in life, and then it shows like a chart, and then it kind of goes like piece by piece into the process and stuff like that, which I thought was pretty cool. So I just have that in here. I have my uh, goals. This was a custom from Simple and Trendy Co. I did cover some stuff up. Um, and then this lifestyle cleanse bundle, it's pretty big. It's from EO Edits and I honestly have not started to put anything in it yet. Like it's, it's in here. I just haven't started using it yet. But it's basically about like kind of decluttering and stuff like that. Um, and this was when my planner was, I mean my planner, my printer was kind of giving out on me, but I really didn't want to have to reprint all of it, especially with all this color. So I just left it. But yeah, it has a lot of like different checklists and stuff about decluttering each part of your um, house. And it seems really nice. I really would like to use it. So. I have it in here, and yeah, these are all the pages. Again, I think this is supposed to be full black. It looks like there's lines though because of my printer. Um, and there's that. Uh, this is my reoccurring task. This is from Peanuts Planner Co. And then this is also from Peanuts Planner Co. This cleaning zones, um, I made this on Canva, but the actual insert itself is a custom from Simple and Trendy Co, which I have also not kept up with, so I can show you it, but I haven't marked anything up off. This is for my monthly cleaning tasks, um, and these are all of my weekly ones. I don't really track my daily ones. I feel like that's kind of repetitive, so I just have it kind of broken into the zones, and then whether it's daily, weekly, or monthly, but I only track the weekly and monthly. And then this is my last uh, tab, but this is the little like piggy bank, and I have this to pull, uh, to go straight to my work schedule. So this is from Peanuts Planner Co. This is just notes for various different things. Um, this study time tracker is from Emma, Emma Studies, and this is from Danica Plans. It's a social media tracker. This is my little social media section. Uh, this PR tracker is from Your Paper and Mind Co. And then this is also from Peanuts Planner Co. And it's just like a little social media calendar that I sometimes use, sometimes don't. And this is from Catspresso Co. I did do the little slits because I often like to take this in and out. This is from Follows Creative Corner. I just have that stuck on with a little clip. And this is from Peanuts Planner Co. It has my monthly, weekly, and daily planning routine. And then I just have various stickies. Um, I, I used to have more on here, but I um, used a bunch of them to cover up the info in my planner. So they're not all here, but I just have all of these stickies. A lot of them are from Paper Test Designs. 
And this is from Caspresso Co. I'm not even sure if I said that, this folder. And then a Foxy Fix page lifter. These are also my daily, weekly, and monthly routines. They are from, the cards themselves are from Caspresso Co. Um, and then my label maker for the words, and then um, cloth and paper page flags. a little bit of a tight fit <laughs> but they do fit and this is just a sticker sheet this is the sticker sheet that I'm using for this month's monthly and I didn't want to get it confused because a lot of my colors look similar because a lot of them are nudes um, so I just have that tucked back here and then in the very back I just have some note random note paper just in case I need it and I think that is it. Um, these are 30 millimeter rings. I'm not sure if I said that. This is the, I think, normal pocket configuration for a ready to ship A6 for Naya Papery. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys have a very safe and happy October. I'll talk to you later. Bye.